Global climate change is manifested in the Baltic Sea by increasingly frequent catastrophic storms, causing floods and coastal destruction. However, how great the damage to coastal areas will be depends on how climate change combines with already established long-term dynamics of the coast. We will try to demonstrate this using the example of the mouth of Kauja River. The Kauja is the second longest river in Latvia and it flows into the Baltic Sea near the town of Kornikala. The Gauja is known for its treachery. It has a winning volume with sections of fast currents alternate with slow ones. Shallows are adjacent to depots, the banks are subject to erosion, and quicksand and cold springs can be found at the bottom. But the most characteristic feature of the Gauja is that it can change its riverbed, and these changes are cyclical. In autumn 2023, the storm season in the southeastern Baltic started almost a month earlier. On October 8 to 9, a storm hit the coast, accompanied by winds up to 30 meters per second and waves up to 4.5 meters. Navigation between Kaliningrad and St. Petersburg was stopped. Streets were flooded in St. Petersburg. The coast of Koronian Speed was severely damaged, especially in its Russian part. In Lithuania, on the coast of Neringa, Palanga and Shuntoi, three and a half thousand square meters of the western slope of the protective dune ridge were damaged. However, what we saw on the coast moving from Karnikava to the northeast towards the Mount of Agawia shocked us and made us seek answers from experts. We found a washed out fort zone and many fallen trees on it. Closer to the estuary, the destruction of fort zone became more severe and the number of fallen trees increased. At the mouth of the river into the sea, the pine forest is replaced by a grey dune. In this place, the fort zone was completely washed away and many rows of pine trees were fallen. The sea sand inside the forest showed us that waves entered the forest more than 40 meters. Why did the storm cause such destruction on a stretch of one and a half kilometers? Why did the damage become greater as we approached the mouth of the river? We asked these questions to Yanis Lopinski's Doctor of Geological Scientists at the University of Latvia, and he suggested that the Gauja treachery plays a role in this particular area. The riverbed changes in the lower reaches are subject to certain dynamics. The Kauja moves north slowly over several years, but returns to the south quite quickly, and now is the time for the riverbed to return to the south. At this time, the entire geomorphological system of estuary is mobile, unstable, and under strong external influences, such as the October storm of 2023, it can respond with such a catastrophic results. With this small example, we wanted to show how complex the task of coastal management is in the context of climate change. And of course, it cannot be solved by isolated efforts. For example, within the framework of municipal planning, preserving individual sections of the coast. Latvia needs a national coastal management program.